back with another video today we are doing boneless chicken and we're doing shish kebabs okay i have my skewers soaking these are going to go on the grill i have cut up some sweet peppers here all different colors um and i have some onions cut up diced in like big cubes uh the chicken it was uh big pieces of boneless chicken here and i sliced them uh with a knife like half like that way with the knife just hold it down put your hand your palm on top of the chicken take the knife with the other hand and just cut it that way and that's how i did that i have it uh marinating in hidden valley ranch the buttermilk um flavor excuse me i also have the red crushed peppers in here garlic powder oh, what else is in here and some basil dry basil not too much and most of the main ingredient is the ranch dressing the buttermilk is in there so that's been going on for just about an hour now so once it gets on the grill <laughs> it's gonna be delicious and uh yeah so just an fyi now i added seasoning oh the other thing i added to it is the creole blend uh seasoning um the other thing is too like if you have some chicken especially boneless chicken right and you wanted to do something quick if you wanted to just marinate it in just regular uh, ranch dressing if you you know can't ranch hidden valley is super expensive okay this was like a seven dollar bottle if you don't have that just you know use what you have on hand if you want to just marinate the chicken uh in just ranch dressing nothing else it is super delicious especially on the grill you can either fry it or uh you could um you can put it in the oven but the the key component is when you put that dressing on there, it's marinating and letting it sit for a long period of time because that's going to give the chicken all of its flavor, okay? So that's what we have going on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to come back to you and show you um, how I'm going to put the chicken on the skewers and we're going to get this going and it's going on the grill. Stay tuned. All right, you all. So we have the skewers here. they just been soaking in water anytime you're going to... Use skewers, you want to make sure that you soak them in water, okay? Uh, so, normally when I do shish kebabs, um, I use boneless, um, I use the steak. It's um, like in a big slice and I chop it up in cubes, season it with whatever seasonings of my choice. I let it marinate, such as the chicken, and then I'll add that on uh, to the skewers with onions and peppers and you can add any other vegetable as well you know people you you jazz it up you want to put okra on there you want to put corn on there you could do whatever it is that you want this is just what i'm doing something quick and simple um as far as you know the uh items that i'm using to put onto the skewers with the chicken so you don't you don't have to again you could subtract add subtract add every time uh you do a dish and most of the time when people are doing dishes this is what the chicken is looking like. Again, I said it with big pieces of uh, the boneless chicken, and I cut them in halves um, with a knife. Hold on a second. Let me just wash my hands up real quick. So with this knife, um, knife, you hold the chicken down, right, and you take the knife this way, and you go sound effects, right, with the knife like that. One next layer two and then you have three and so that creates more uh chicken opposed to you having the big pack of chicken um and you have let's say six to eight pieces probably like six pieces big pieces in there you can get a lot out of that so you know with the way the economy is and everything whether you have a big family or not if you're not going to use all of this you can literally you can freeze this you know and you can save it for a whole nother this could be a whole nother meal um you know, for me, that's just how I look at things. You don't have to use all of it at one time. So instead of just using that big piece of chicken, now you were able to cut that one piece of chicken breast and uh, you cut it into three. So now look what you're doing. You 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 just made even more. So think about the amount of pieces of uh, chicken that you have times three as you, you know, as you cut it, if that makes sense to you all. So what I'm doing, this is my first time doing... Uh, boneless chicken on the skewers like i said normally i use steak so that's beef um and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make it pretty that's what we're gonna do okay and so you just go in and out you're gonna take the skewer and you just make a little hole right and then you go up come out of the chicken a little bit 
because you want it to be, you want it to come down, okay? Um, not, oh, well, you got to bring it back up so we can do some more, make some more marks in the chicken. And um, so instead of continuing further here, we're going to, uh, this can, this is messy, okay? So <laughs> be prepared for that. And um, with me, as I'm going back and forth, all of this, my hands are washed. I already washed them before making the video as well. Um, I'm going to touch the onions. I'm going to touch the peppers. I'm going to add it on there. So however many onions you want, okay, just, just take it like this, like so. Watch your fingers when you're putting it down there. Uh, I'm going to add some more on there. And, you know, as it's cooking, the onion flavor is going to go into the chicken and so on and so forth, right? And I'm going to take the peppers. I have them cut up like this. Uh, you know, nothing fancy. Again, I'm home. This is just for family, so it's just not, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Nobody really cares. They just want to eat the food. Let me just do this over for a second. Hold on. You know, and this right here is an example of mistakes in the kitchen. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time using the chicken. So we're going to make it pretty, as you can see how. Okay, so that's what that's what it's going to be. All right. Um, so now at the bottom here, what I'm going to do instead of, I'm going to put that onion at the bottom there to kind of hold the, the chicken up. That's what we're going to do there. Right. And then we're going to take the onions. We're going to just squish the chicken down some and I will stretch it all out. So everything is evenly placed. Um, yep. Just wait a second. I'm going to get another pepper. Just for example. Yeah. And you can do it whatever way you want. Like I said, you can add corn on the cob on this. You you know, cut them up into small pieces. Uh, you could add okra. You could add, add whatever you want. You know, whatever you whatever you enjoy, that's your thing. Do whatever <laughs> whatever your heart desires. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to do this whole video showing you how I'm doing them all. I will do another one. And that's what we have going on. You got the grilled, um, the, um, the boneless chicken there, the peppers, the onions. And now we're going to place this on the grill. And it's going to be delicious, okay? Even more so is because that chicken was marinating for a long time. And, you know, there's nothing, excuse me, there's nothing like meat, <laughs> meat marinating it's like leftover food so here we got another skewer here what i want to do is start with some onions i'm going to switch it up again like i said it's my first time so i'm just you know just going with it i'm going to add a pepper here so we're going to do there we go see that right we're going to grab another piece of chicken Like so, we're going to poke a hole in the bottom, just like that, and just kind of just like side to side, kind of like a zigzag, if you will, right? And we're going to just pull it down like that, okay? So that's what we got going on there. And now, because that's a big piece of chicken, I mean, you guys, listen, it's flavor, that's what, that's what, you know, it's about. It's about flavor. And add as you see fit. I love my onions and peppers, so I'm I'm loading it up. That's what we're doing. You're not cooking for a restaurant. <laughs> you're cooking for your family at home. That's what you're doing. And that's what we got there. Mm -hmm. Just like that. See that? Oh, my goodness. And now just think of this. This is going to be on the grill. I'll post a picture up because I'm not going to, you know, take it all the way through. Um, I try not to do just like super long videos, but I will post a picture of what it looks like after it's being on, it's on the grill. And uh, yeah, so definitely give it a try. Again, like I said, you don't have to season up your chicken. Um, and again, you can use any type of meat that of your choice. Um, but always remember to make sure that you soak your skewers um, before putting um, the meat on and putting them on the grill. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And I uh, hope you learned something. Any questions, feel free to comment um, below. And uh, please like, comment, definitely share. And I really, really would love if you can subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and just hanging out with me and watching what I got going on. Take care.